everybody, I'm Davy. Today I'm sharing with you how I decorate with thrifted items in my home and why I love it so much. So I'm gonna start with our living area here and to be honest, almost everything is secondhand or thrifted. The only pieces that are not are our pillows. I got those on clearance at a boutique store and the covers on Amazon. Our TV, of course, is not secondhand. And then this black lamp behind me, which I've been really wanting to get rid of, yet it's kind of practical because it holds our tissue box on it. And um, I do like the light over there. So I'm looking for a secondhand lamp that could fill that space. But truly, those are the only things in this area that are not secondhand. I love thrifted secondhand furniture because with couches, chairs, if you have kids, I don't feel so bad when there is a marker on it and you can't get it out. Yes, I love to take care of my pieces. Um, the couch and love seat we have, I've shared this before, was $100 four years ago for the set and it has served us well. So I am okay having this second hand and um, I still take care of it like I said, but I don't get so concerned having um, marks on it, especially when we have kids. So our dining room, which I actually call our music room because it has my piano in it, I have a lot of hand-me-down furniture in this location. The piano was for my grandma when she passed, and this wooden music stand I love was also from my grandma. And I love that about secondhand pieces. They tell a story, and I love filling my home with pieces that have their own individual story, and you can just create your home, your atmosphere, with other people's stuff that have stories and the baskets that so many, so many of you have liked on my channel that I have hanging on my wall. They were $2 for the three of them from a friend's place who lives in a, an old vet clinic area. And so they used to store vet clinic pieces. And so I thought that was pretty cool and I just made it a hanging piece. And I love how it looks in this area of my home. And that really tells a story. Or the second hand music stand that I got from my grandma. They're just uh, also conversations starters that's what I love about secondhand pieces okay in my kitchen area um, a lot of appliances and stuff I don't buy secondhand like my teapot is secondhand and I love that color but you can find a lot of pieces that are good quality secondhand for example my wooden spoons I got several of my wooden spoons from a thrift store and I think they are, they're quite old, but they are such good quality, they work well. Um, some other things I found, like my Corelware that I rave about, I've got secondhand, and I really like the quality of those. There's just so many things that I think work well that are more um, vintage or um, a little bit older that you can find secondhand. And that's what I like about, of course, like I said, buying secondhand. All right, to the bedrooms then. A lot of my pieces, bigger furniture pieces, as you can tell, are secondhand. The only thing in our bedroom that's not is our bassinet and our bed. Um, the quilt on it I found from a garage sale. The rocking chair was a $10 find. The dresser was a $60 find. And all of these pieces just pull my room together and I appreciate, again, that story. And the thing with secondhand, you can change it out if your style changes or if you end up not loving it and you don't feel so bad spending a couple thousand dollars on a chair and having to try to sell it again or get rid of it when you spend ten to a hundred dollars on a piece of furniture and then you can replace it and not feel so bad about that or if your style changes. And then in my daughter's bedroom, her little dresser was a find I needed for when she was a newborn. The crib, of course, was given to us. Um, I did not get that second hand. Um, some other things are hand-me-downs as well. And yes, it's a little mix of this and that, but again, it works well. It's rather practical. It's not something I'm trying to put up on Pinterest. I just want it to work for our family. So that's kind of what I have around our home. Truly, 
I would say 90% of the pieces I own are secondhand, and that's what I love about my home is it tells a story. Things can be collected throughout my shopping experiences. They can be changed out with not feeling so guilty, and it's all very budget friendly that way too. So I hope you just kind of enjoyed seeing around my house a little bit of what I have that is secondhand and thrifted. If you wanna see more of like my favorites that I have thrifted, why you should buy secondhand, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk with you in my next video. Love you guys, bye.